Welcome back everyone. If you are sticking to your New Year's resolutions and still eating healthy or maybe you're not, that's okay. There's a new restaurant in Boise that can either way help you out with a unique menu. Yep, Michelle Reynolds from Kind Cuisine is here in the Cisco Kitchen. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning. Thanks so much for coming in. Kind Cuisine Cafe, I understand yes. his name is. Yes. Brand new restaurant you guys are opening. Where is it? It's on State Street. We're at, in the Collister Center at 4628. Um, West A Street. All right, and when you find out what they make, you're really going to want to head out there because, just like Jillian was saying, for people who maybe decide, maybe they're just trying a new diet they haven't done mm -hmm. before, or maybe they've always been with, uh, I understand, vegetarian, you guys are the place for them, right? Yeah, we get all kinds of demographics, so young and old and vegetarian and not vegetarian, so we're just aimed to uh, do good, clean food. Good. So today you're making something pretty unique, macadamia nut gravy, right? Yes. Okay, so show us how you do this. This is diff very different. You wouldn't think of macadamia nuts in a gravy. Well, the <laughs> idea is to have nice, rich gravy and savory and not have any um, gluten in it okay. and no dairy in it. And it's very healthy. Okay, so oh. what do we do first? Yeah, let's whip it up. Okay, so first you want to get some good macadamia nuts, and then we're going to grind them up, and I put them in just a little food processor. Okay. You can make them super fine or a little chunky. And so I'm going to just put those in this pan right here. Okay. And then we just... Spread them all out. Kind of just toast it a little bit. We don't want it to get brown, but okay. we want to release that beautiful nut flavor. Okay. It's probably going to smell really good, yeah. too. Yeah. Those oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So okay, once we'll we have that stuff. going, the next step is going to be to combine. First, I'll add, I'll add the coconut milk as this starts to toast up. And I've made some Indian recipes at our house with coconut milk, and it really helps to cream it up yeah, still without using the dairy. It's a beautiful fat. <laughs> and, it make, and it gives that sweetness, too. That all, it, it does a pretty good job of fooling you. If you're looking for the stuff that fools you <laughs> into thinking it's dairy, That's it right. kind of does that, yeah. That's right. It's very buttery. This. So you've got macadamia nuts, coconut milk, and what else is over About there? About a cup of coconut milk, and then I have um, some rice flour. I use a white rice flour, and this is instead of a roux, where a roux where you use butter and, and uh, wheat flour. This is going to be gluten-free. So oh, nice. I just put like maybe about a quarter cup, and then I use rice flour uh -huh. in place, I mean rice milk in place of regular dairy milk. So it's that amazing. makes it vegan. Amazing what you can get from rice, the flour and the milk. And all yeah. the substitutions. So we just want to give that a little stir so that it doesn't clump up when we put it in the liquid. Mm -hmm. Rice, flour, and rice milk. And then we want to go ahead and finish this up. And uh, uh, we'll come back to it, of course, on Fox Night at 7 o'clock. But what are the last two ingredients that you have over there for the gravy? Oh, this is a, a little spice mixture that I make that's similar to like a chicken broth. Uh -huh. And then this is real maple syrup, and that'll just Ooh. bring out the flavor. The ma real maple syrup is really important because that'll bring out the real lusciousness of it. Mix this all so you up. just mix this all up, and what I usually do is I'll add another about another cup of rice milk, and then that'll thicken because of the rice flour. Oh, good. And, and we want to see how this turns out yeah. in about 30, 40 minutes or so. Yeah. See how it's of thickening course. as well. Uh -huh. okay. Of course, yes. Thanks so much for showing us this. And stick around on Fox 9 or third hour during the 7 o'clock hour. We will be cooking up another unique recipe. A lot more of this stuff. I yes. want to find out what each one of these kind, is. Kind this cuisine. is what we'll use it for. <laughs> Good morning, Idaho. We are back here in the Cisco kitchen with Michelle Reynolds from Kind Cuisine. Earlier, we were wa working on a macadamia nut gravy. That's been now, cooking for, what, yeah. 30, 40 minutes now? Yeah. How's it looking, Michelle? Yeah, it's looking pretty good. It's nice and thickened up, and it's warm. With the miracle of rice flour, rice milk, so yeah. many other ingredients, the whole thing is completely gluten-free, dairy-free, right? Gluten-free and vegan, yes. And, and that is a lot of what, mostly, what you guys do, I understand, at Kind Cuisine yeah. Cafe, right? Yeah, although we have, you know, some egg products and some dairy products. We don't have any meat products. Um, or by products, you know, no, no unclean ingredients in our in our foods. And we were going to go over exactly what you can pair that macadamia nut gravy mm -hmm. with, because yeah. some of these plates. You talked about a, a generosity plate that we want to know more about. What? How does that work at Kind Cuisine? Yeah, we have what we call a generosity plate, which is a pay-as-you-like composed meal, and you get to actually select your grain your vegetarian protein and your vegetable mixture, which we might have our vegetable medley like this one right here or some greens. Okay. And then we um, do a sauce. And although the macadamia nut 
gravy isn't on our menu, we oftentimes, you know, introduce new sauces that you can pair with that. Nice. I'm starting to smell that as well. Yes, it smells, it super smells super good. good. Okay, so how would you uh, make a plate up? How would you mix it well, up? Well, we would probably if say we we're going to choose some brown rice. Okay. And a little bit of vegetable medley here. Do most people like a combination of several different things, or do they often ask for just, just a plate of vegetables, then with a the sauce? Or do they like the combination? They like the combination. Okay. And this is a wonderful way to invent your own vegetarian meal. And that's one that? of those proteins. Yeah, what is yeah. it? Yeah, <laughs> okay, this is tempeh. It's not and this tofu. Is, it's not tofu, it's tempeh, and it's a less processed um, form of soy. And okay. people like it, and it's real meaty in texture and flavor. Okay, mm. and you do have soy as well as an option, I see, or tofu, I mean. Yeah, we do have some tofu, and then this is three bean sprouts, which is made with um, lentil, mung, and aduki beans, and we sprout those in-house. Oh, oh wow. no way, so you know they're That's fresh. That's what I would like. Yeah. I would try those. <laughs> yeah. And so we would just kind of saute up this, and Mix up your gravy. we can either, you can either put it on a plate, we'll try both, you can just put it on a plate here. It's wonderful with a little bit of fresh spinach under it. And then we'll just take some of our gravy and we'll just put this the gravy great. over it. I confess, I, I've been scared of things that are vegetarian and vegan because I'm, I'm a meat <laughs> lover, but that looks and smells so amazing. Okay. I, it's got to taste just as so amazing we'll just as it looks. just put a few extra nuts there. And, and we have a meal. Look at that. It looks great. And how easy. Yeah. yeah. And you can keep, you can pre-make these grains, and we have macaroni here. Yeah, have rice, gluten. pasta, rice. Yeah, exactly. All gluten-free. And who doesn't love macaroni? So, and actually, this macadamia nut gravy here on this macaroni will give you a very cheesy-like macaroni and cheese. That's what I was wondering. It probably tastes very similar to Good that. Good substitutions, Michelle. Yeah, well, we're going to put this information so people can find more about Kind Cuisine Cafe at IdahoOnYourSide.com. Thanks so much for sharing your recipes yeah, with us today. You're welcome. Thank you.